Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode. It's Mel here from Raw Nourishment. You are joining me for week two on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. I just want to have a bit of a heart to heart with you. Just boiled some water. I'm gonna make a tea. So I'm just gonna kind of take you along for the ride. This is my new favorite tea over here. I don't have any soy milk left, so it's gonna be interesting. And um, as we don't have a kettle, just boil it on the stove. Actually, I've already boiled it, so I'm just going to turn it off. And uh, we don't have cups, but we have jars. So you don't fill it up too high, otherwise you burn your fingers. So I'm just going to grab that. I'm going to sit down on the floor, and we're going to have a heart-to-heart. -heart, so I hope you guys enjoy. That'll do. Rice milk probably wasn't the best choice, but you do the best with what you can. Oh, you want to check out my room? So that's not my section, that's Shanty's. Got an Aussie girl from Sydney up the top. Got a girl from Quebec in Canada. This is my little cove. Isn't she lovely? And then spare bed here. This is Bianca here. She's from the Netherlands. And I haven't spent enough time with that lady, but I think she's from Japan. This is that cute little setup. So welcome to my house. I mean a little bathroom here. You get it. Well, everyone, welcome to my hostel. I'm sitting on the floor. Nothing is cleared up. I'm not trying to make it like this perfect video like I normally do. This is a day in the life of me. First thing on my list is that I've noticed that I am becoming more confident in my skin. I think it is a combination of finding that I need to swim every day. I've been swimming every day. The routine is the same as last week. Yes, it's perfect. I love it. Still, um, bathing in the sun and look my color is amazing you see what color I used to be if I turn a bit can you see that white I haven't shaved but we'll just block that out see that color there that's the color I used to be like two weeks ago and now I'm like super darker when I did my makeup for Danielle's wedding which I'll talk about soon I had to use um, two shades up on my contouring palette. I was like, two shades darker. That is amazing. So I'm feeling more comfort confident in my skin. I was walking around in my tog top and shorts, and you guys know my issues with my, sh my legs. You've probably seen my insecurities video. If not, you need to watch it. I'll link it in the description. So I was basically wearing these shorts, which these are short for me. You guys know I wear things to my knee. And um, yeah, waltzing around and I was like, I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. Anyway, so that's I mean that's a big deal. That's a very big deal for me. Oh, one of the other things um, I've noticed that this week when I was swimming, got out of the beach, blah blah blah, I met a viewer. I randomly met a viewer. This is the first time it's happened by coincidence. I've by coincidence. I've met people before at different dinners and potlucks and that kind of thing, but this is the first time someone has actually stopped me in the street. And the thing that I love the most about this is that she is from. Perth. I think she said she was from Perth. You'll find out in the footage very shortly. And she is in Hawaii for a wedding next Saturday. And I met her, her name's Brooke, and her partner, and I was just like, oh my god, I love her already. She was so sweet, so beautiful, and I was just like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, universe. Like, okay, let me just quickly go through and talk about why that was so important. For ages, I have been very disheartened about the numbers on my channel. This is the ego within me that I need to ugh, get rid of. It's disgusting. And I was like, I raised my channel so quickly, like it got to such a level. And then when I met Ali, and then things kind of got a bit crazy, and I had like two months um, downtime, and I kind of lost my focus, and my head was ugh, skedaddled everywhere. And um, then I, I lost the viewers. I had the subscription, everyone, most people stay subscribed, but the views dropped and I was like, oh, how do I bring the views up? And then I was like, cut out that crap. Why would you even say that? You're making a difference. I get the most beautiful emails from you guys. No, not emails, because um, I asked you not to do that. Um, what do you call it? Instagram comments and, oh, you know, it just makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing. That's a whole new story for me to talk about. But it was just so lovely that Brooke came into my life and she was just like, are you Mel from Law Nourishment? I was like, oh my God, yes I am. And um, so I filmed it because I was diving in the water trying to get footage, like the underwater footage um, 
for my channel using the GoPro and I had the GoPro in my hand. I was like, oh my god, let me get you on my channel. So I quickly filmed her, but I do apologize that you won't be able to see my face because I got so excited and there was a watermark on my face. But anyway, check out beautiful Brooke right here. Hi everyone, this is my beautiful new friend Brooke. She just actually ran into me as I just got out of the water. We're in um, Oahu on the island of Hawaii and Brooke is also from WA, from Pet. Yeah, so it is a very small world. Isn't she just adorable? Oh my god. Brooke, mwah, I love you. Thank you so much for coming to say hello. It made my day. I called my mum. I told my friend Danielle. I basically told everyone I know. And I was like, oh my god, I met my first viewer. It was just beautiful. So, oh gosh, just lovely. Anything. Uh, anyway, another thing that's happened this week is that I've just made friends with the farmers the, at the farmers markets. And... I always go back to the same ones because they're just so sweet and they tell me like stories about how they've made things and where their farm is and there's just love oozed into the food. Maybe that's another reason why I'm feeling good. Another thing is that I've been having quite a number of messages um, coming through from the universe this week, mainly through song lyrics, which has been quite like, whoa, it's just kind of how I get things to be like, oh, you're on the right path, because I normally feel things when things are good or bad. You know, it's just that reassurance, because I'm going through this phase of doubting as you go into like a new chapter and a rebirth, and obviously my, what's the word, feelings are heightened around different series of events based on astrology, but you know, I, I need another channel. Actually, I'm going to have a new channel, I'm just in the process of having a holiday. <laughs> oh, speaking about the new chapter. My nose ring is gone. My nose ring hasn't been in for about three weeks. It has been falling out for the last two months, but I kept buying new ones because I'm like, I'm so resistant to change, blah, 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 where I should be like going with the flow. I got the, the nose ring about three years ago, just after I finished working on the cruise ship. Oh, so it's freeing. It's so amazing. And when I use a spin for perfect skin brush, shh, easy, done, perfect. Um, the other thing is, because my beautiful friend Danny got married this week, we um, went out for like a girls' night. Yes, I was drinking. Yes, I was drinking at the wedding. Was I on the floor crazy? No. But I had an amazing time. Had such an amazing time. Did I drink too much? Probably. I felt a bit yucky the next day, but it probably affected me more so because I don't drink. For special occasions, yeah, I can let that slide. That's no problem. And I'm, pr and I'm you know what, I wasn't mad at myself for drinking. I was like, yeah, it's a wedding festive let's do it okay let's just go back to Denny's wedding it was the best wedding ever it was beautiful in every possible way she's the most beautiful bride the day was so emotional I was filming as she was walking up the aisle and my hand was like this I was like <laughs> oh god it was just beautiful oh just beautiful I don't think it's appropriate to share bits of their wedding but I can show you what I wore I felt like a million dollars in this dress check it out I was a little bit like self-conscious because I'm like oh I'm showing a bit of um, my skin on my belly but then I'm like you know what Mel you've worked hard to get to where you are you know things are falling into place you've you're just you're doing well so you deserve to feel amazing and I did I felt so good and my makeup I was so happy with my makeup even though it was such a disaster <laughs> getting to that stage. Oh, another thing that I noticed. Oh, let's go back to the wedding. Oh god, I'm sorry I'm so scattered. Is that at the wedding I had the most incredible veggie stack. Oh, it was the best veggie stack I have had in my whole entire life. Let me just show you the footage now to show you exactly what I had for the wedding. Had um, appetizers, that salad, whatever that dressing was in that salad. Mwah, creme de la creme. The main, which was the veggie stack and had three different sauces. Oh my goodness, that was so good. And then I had a quinoa salad, but I got too full, so I didn't have that. Oh, it was just divine. So thank you, Danny. I noticed the next morning I was woken up because I had a cramp in my leg. Now, I haven't, I couldn't even remember the last time I had a cramp in my leg. Now, if I was thinking back before I was vegan and all of that, I used to wake up all the time with cramps in my leg. So I'm assuming because what I, the only thing that I did different was drink. So I'm assuming that the drinking was related to the cramp because it, it woke me up of my sleep and it's like, it's that pain where you're like, do you rub it? Do, what do you do? Do you stand up? Blah, blah, blah. But it was that, it was that sore that I like jumped out of bed and was like trying to walk to the bathroom. Yeah, but I thought that was very interesting that that happened 
as I was drinking the night before. Oh, you'd be very proud of me. I haven't been going to Starbucks every day. I bought tea, so I've been drinking at home. Drinking, that sounds funny. Having a cup of tea, love, at home. Um, my Cliff Bars, yeah, that's still an addiction. Whatever, they're not too bad. I could be doing a lot worse. I've been meditating every time I go to the beach. That's another thing that's just part of my routine now, which is beautiful. You know what, and I'm actually quite sad to leave Waikiki. I was meant to be leaving on Tuesday, which will be the 29th, but I'm going to be extending for one more night because Master Shan has an, a healing and transformation event that I definitely want to go to. Then I was thinking after that I was going to travel up to the North Shore, check that out, see what happens, and then I was going to fly over to Kauai because I heard that it is like the crown chakra. Um slash the um, garden, I don't know what they call it, the garden island and I just want to like immerse myself, I want to get off technology so I, there could be no videos, who knows, but I just, yeah, I want to shock my system and I've learned so much about myself besides what's written on my list, I just, the reason why I'm, I'm speaking to you from this room is because I just had the most intense, or not intense, that's not the right word, most beautiful, like, blessed conversation with Shanti, the lady I spoke about in my video last week on Thursday, and she has helped me so much. Um, she reads souls, and she's helped me work out a lot of things what's the word? She helped me realize a lot of things within my life and how to deal with situations and she's just basically like, no, I'll go with the flow, you know, just go with the flow, make sure you move the energy in your body. And it's just what makes me truly, honestly happy is eating good food, being surrounded by beautiful people, you know, being able to be creative, talk to you beautiful souls because I miss you when I don't and just living through a heart-centered approach. I've said that so many times, but what I've learned is that I have an idea of what I want things to be and I have such high expectations, but instead I should just be more open to how things are going and just go with the flow. Anyway, this week has been amazing. This really hasn't been a food related. I think it's more like a love-based transformation part. I, know, I said in one of my videos that I didn't come to Waikiki or to Hawaii in general to be a tourist. I feel like more touristy things are going to be coming up. I still haven't hiked Diamond's Head. Anyway, so this is this week has been just beautiful. Spending time with friends, met more new people. It's just been lovely. It's I've just had the best time. I don't have very much to show you in terms of that because it's just been like catch up with friends or go to the farmers markets which I've already shown you those things before but it's just been a very it, this isn't this is a new phase for me anyway so I just wanted to leave you with some footage that I have filmed throughout the week it's kind of a bit random but just to like keep you in the loop of what's what's been going on this week hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I hope that you are just going with the flow wherever life takes you be grateful and just do the best you possibly can. Continue to make better choices. Mwah! I love you, I love you, I love you, and I will see you Thursday. Hello, hello, oh, hello, Lulu. Good morning, my loves. It's 6.30. I've already had my morning swim, and look, there is nobody in the water. Kawa ula Awa kui ke kailoa Oni mai ana o upolu O komo ia mahu kona Ika makani ia paapa Hey, get up, 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 get up,